转动者，请你立即调整方向。For two days, China has been encircling the island of Taiwan with naval vessels and military aircraft. China claims it's testing its military's ability to seize power and occupy key areas. This, in line with Beijing's ultimate goal of annexing Taiwan, Taiwanese military experts say that this is the first time that Beijing has simulated a full-scale attack rather than an economic blockade like before. According to Western intelligence, China has told PLA to be capable of an invasion by 2027. Now, this comes three days after Taiwan's new president was sworn in, with China calling it a punishment for Taiwan's separatist acts. In his inaugural speech, Taiwan's president Lai called on China to stop threatening the island and accept the existence of its democracy, a remark which ended up provoking China even further. Beijing has previously called President Lai a separatist and a troublemaker, and his winning the elections didn't go down well with China. The exercises involved China's air force, rocket force, navy, army, and coast guard in approximately five locations in the area surrounding the Taiwanese mainland. In response, Taiwan dispatched their own naval, air, and ground force to defend their sovereignty. Though China has never controlled Taiwan. China's ruling Communist Party thinks of Taiwan as a breakaway province, which will eventually be back in Beijing's control, even if by force. Taiwan, on the other hand, sees itself as a separate democracy. They have been self-governed since 1949, when nationalists fled to the island following their defeat by the CCP in a civil war on the mainland. This is not the first time China has used military drills to intimidate Taiwan. In August 2022, U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi made an historic visit to the island, after which China simulated a blockade of the main island of Taiwan with ships, aircraft, and missile strikes. The U.S. maintains close but informal relations with Taiwan and is bound by law to supply them with weapons they need to defend themselves. These exercises are China's attempt to warn not just Taiwan but even other international forces, especially the U.S., against interfering. But will China really invade Taiwan right now? According to experts, that's unlikely, at least in the near term. These exercises are more of a warning rather than a sign of imminent war. However, Beijing's toolkit is aimed at reducing Taiwan's will to resist, so intimidation tactics are definitely likely to continue.